Then you set the meat at around 300 degrees for 40 minutes. Mm hmm. Okay. Got it. Tara furiously scribbled down notes as she's playing her handheld device. Wait a minute. Couldn't I just cook it for 600 degrees for 20 minutes? That's not quite how this works, I'm afraid. But the math checks out. What's going on? Oh, good morning, Matthias. How, how do you do? I'm teaching Tara the proper way to prepare a pot roast. So far, I'd say it's going pretty well. Tara will be the one to prepare lunch today instead of me. Tara turned one of the dials on the stove as far as it would go to the right. Oh god. And the student has surpassed the master. On second thought, perhaps I'll prepare an alternative course. One moment, please. Yeah, that food's gonna be burnt. Oh, you little faith. It's gonna be burnt on the outside, uncooked in the middle. Time for the truth, for the moment truth lunch is served. Tara was nervously clasping her hands tight. We eating it? It's delicious! I did it, oh my gosh! Tara did a little dance in celebration and gave Violet a high five. Should I become a food vlogger? I'm a cook, sav savant. savant. This talent shouldn't be wasted. Psst! Hey, Violet. What is it, Matthias? Is this what you cooked, or is this what Tara cooked? Violet smiled and winked at me. I don't know what you were talking about. She sipped on her soup contently. I couldn't help but smile back at her. Damn, this was the best meal I've ever had. Yeah, Tara definitely didn't do it, especially with that dial. Granted, my member only goes back about three days, but still, it counts for something. I figured it's about time to talk with Cat about my next date, but I felt a tap on my back. Cat, is that? It's not Cat. Is it Damien? I turned around and the girl in front of me was as surprised as I was. Cat? No, this is Allie. Ah, sorry, Allie. What's up? She looked to see if anyone was around before she spoke. Have you noticed anything weird lately? What do you mean? Don't get me wrong, I had a lot of fun on our date earlier, but something about the show is weird. I went out for a walk in the forest last night, you know, because it's gorgeous and all. But after that, I got there, I must have dozed off for a minute. Taking a nap in the forest at night? You're braver than most, Allie. Let me finish. When I woke up, I was back in my room on my bed. And I swear, I don't remember ever walking back. Huh. That sounds pretty crazy, if it really happened. You sure you didn't have a weird dream? Now that you mention it, I tried Scarlet's cooking for fun last night. That was a big mistake. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... Did you notice anything strange happen last night? I don't think so. It was just a regular night. I had a conversation with Cat in my room, but that was it. Damn, five girls to date wasn't enough, huh? Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Well, I guess I'll just be staying away from Scarlet's cooking and chalk it up with a weird-ass dream. Thanks for listening, with eyes. It's my pleasure, Allie. See you later. Damn. She ran off just as fast as she had come initially. Someone's in a hurry. Hey, Cat, I was looking for you. Afternoon, Matthias. Come here. Or, same here. I wanted to ask, did your guys do anything last night to Allie? Not that I know of. Our staff leaves the cast alone at night. I guess there's nothing to worry about. Cat's being honest with me so, so far about everything. Right? Anyway, more importantly, it's time for Phase 2. You've done pretty decently with setting up Allie and Violet as your soulmate candidates. People are eating it up. The romance? Whatever. More importantly, every time they're on screen, we get one hell of, of ratings boost. From here on out, you'll only be going on dates with either of them. That'll be your best bet to get out get out of your life. That sound good to you? You almost make it sound like I have a choice. I'm glad we're on the same page as always, Matthias. But enough of the unpleasantries. Who's the unlucky girl today? I guess I'd have to spend the day with... Oh, wow, legit. Okay. Well, I'm glad we saved the first time. I do, mm, I do want to spend it with Allie again, but I think if we really want to do this, this whole like love triangle thing, I think we got to make one jealous and we got to double dip with Violet is what I'm going to, what I'm looking at here. And then Allie will probably want to spend time together again. I, we're going to double dip. 
Violet, nice. I kind of had a feeling you would. I think Violet's somewhere around the mansion. Lead the way. I found Violet taking a walk outside the mansion. Hey, Violet, what's up? Hello there, Matthias. I just thought I'd take a nice afternoon walk. This place truly does bring back memories of home. You lived on your own personal island? Nothing quite that bourgeois. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Want to see? For me, I... I mentioned for her to follow me into the mansion. Is it a frying pan? Ask Kat to pull a few strings and, well, we have everything we need to bake at whatever we want now. Oh my. Vi looked at me with childlike wonder in her eyes. Let's get right to it then. Why don't we? Ran out of drink. On the next. Ugh. She was practically shaking with excitement. Her smile and laughter was positively infectious. We decided to make a chocolate cake. It was her favorite flavor, and I don't remember mine. That said, I also don't remember a thing about how to make cakes, but with Violet, that wasn't a problem. She got me up to speed with a soft and steady hand, and before long, we had a, the cake in the oven baking away. I wish it took longer to make, seeing Violet do what she loved most was a treat. When she pulled the cake out of the oven, she looked like a kid on Christmas Day. Wow, she looks, she looks significantly older in that CG. Now, just for the finishing touches, a little here, a little more there. She was in her own world, humming away as she danced around the cake, decorating it as she went along. I couldn't help but smile and watch her in adoration. She's pure happiness right now. I wish I could take this moment and just freeze it in time for safekeeping. I can't wait to share it with the others. But first, Matthias, would you mind testing it? You don't have to ask, believe me. I'm first in line to try it out. Thank you. I just am unsure if what I make is worth eating or not. Oh, please. Why is that? My family's caretaker, Lucine, was the one who taught me to bake. Besides, my sister, Lucine, was the my sister Lucine was the only one who ever bothered to try what I made. Sometimes I worry they told me it's delicious, but just to make me feel better. I took a little off the top of the cake with my finger and licked it off. It's delicious, Violet. You better believe it. Would you want to help me a little longer? I'm having far too much fun to just stop now. I've just started making some cookies and I find it quite enjo to enjoy your company and help Matthias. Cookies, yes. I'd love to. Let me know how I can help. Violet passed me a bowl full of cookie dough, then a tray. All you need to do is make little cookie shaped pieces out of this, sh out of this dough, then put them on the tray. Do not try to put any of them too close together on the tray or it'll, make some <laughs> or it'll become something of a mutant cookie in the oven. Got it. No mutant cookies here. I ripped off a piece of the dough from the bowl and rolled it back into the size and shape of a cookie. Perfect. You're natural. Thanks, Violet. I... Wow. In the time it took me to make one, Violet had made six perfect cookies. She moved with the mechanical efficiency and she kneaded balls of dough into perfectly shaped cookies. Wow. I thought you were great before, but you're incredible. How long have you been doing this? Perhaps since I was about, say, five? To this day, it remains the only thing I can do I can best set my sister at. I finished making another cookie as Violet finished three more. She held up one of the cookies and raised it into her face. You've gotten quite skilled at this, Matthias. I just wanted to say again, thank you for arranging this. this I'm on top of the world right now. It was my pleasure, Violet. Gosh, she's so adorable when she smiles. For a few seconds, we kept working on the cookies in amiable silence. Our eyes locked on each other's. You said you had a sister? Why, yes, indeed. Viola Valentine. First twins in the family. She... Oh, I'm out of my room on the tray. She flashed a devious smile in my direction right before she lightly threw a dull ball at my face. <laughs> What's with that cheeky... Before I could react, it, spout, it splattered against and stuck to my face. <laughs> ah, that scared me. She burst into a childlike laughter. Nice catch, Matthias. Perhaps you might try using your hands next time? Oh, it's on. I couldn't stop myself from smiling as I grabbed some ammo from my own cookie tray and threw them at her. Damn! She dodged them with ease and laughed. It's quite humorous how an old caretaker managed to do what you are struggling to do now. I interrupted her gloating with another ball throw. Cookie dough ball throw. This time, it made a satisfying splat against her left cheek. Steerike? 
Oh, you are so going down. Her smile turned devilish as she grabbed another dough ball. Oh, shit. I have only a second before her next volley. I... I think we should go offensive. I think that'll I think that'll surprise her. I just started to reach out for another dough ball from the tray when a dough ball splatted against my forehead, sending me recoiling backwards. Ah! And then another landed right next to it. Ah, oh, mercy. And then another. Oh my god. There's gonna be no cookies. A crumble to the floor in defeat. I declare this my victory in absolute confidence. She laughed as she pointed at the, all the dough on my face. I took the opportunity to interrupt her speech with another dough ball. It splatted right against her left cheek. Oh, you're even more dead now. Forget surviving this crazy, t crazy TV show. I don't know if I'm surviving the next five minutes. It was like looking a tiger dead in the eye. Violet reloaded her ammo and was winding up for another throw. It was all I could do to reach one for one more ball and scream in defiance. Bring it on! <laughs> Oh my god! Some say you can still hear my screams in that kitchen to this day. It's like one's cooking. We finished cleaning up after our impromptu food fight and brought the desserts that survived the Great War to the porch. Her smile and laughter was were infectious. Pardon me, but I guess we can rule out you being a baseball player before he had come to this island. She put her hand tenderly against my face as she wiped out some remaining dough. We locked eyes yet again. Her eyes were practically magnetic. Thanks for playing along with us. I, I suppose it's been too long since I had that much fun. So thank you for indulging my little whim. It was a lot of fun for me too, Violet. Don't, don't mention it. Besides, I think I got a few good hits in to make it worth it. I am worried for you. It appears your amnesia is getting worse. Violet laughed as she picked off some more crumbs off my face and licked them off her finger. Her eyes seemed to linger on mine. I do hope we can spend more time together soon. I quite liked this. I'd like that, Violet. I'd, uh, I had a lot of fun with you, too. You're full of surprises, you know? Just wait and see. There's more where that came from. We spend the rest of the day talking and eating little desserts together on the porch. Though Violet seemed quite distant when I first met her, I learned that I, I learned that the real Violet was nothing like that at all, and full of surprises. She could be unexpectedly shy one moment, and then mischievous as the child in another. One thing's for sure, being around her makes my heart skip a beat, and the time fly. Before I realized how much time had passed, it was already pitch black outside. Jump scare? <laughs> no? Okay. I was about to turn for the night when I heard a knock on the door. Cat! Hey cat, I thought you weren't going to come over tonight. Sorry about that, I got tied up in some things. Is everything okay? Good as always. Care to join me for a walk? Sure, that sounds nice. And then away we go. We walked at a relaxed place with Cat slightly ahead leading the way. So, how are you feeling with the day? How about day three, Matthias? You still feeling alley? We'll go with, I'm not sure. Ellie's a great girl, but I don't know if I'd call her my favorite. Really? Damn, you sure changed your mind quickly, Matthias. I feel like anyone who has to date you is in for a nasty surprise. Hey, I've only gotten to know each of them. Isn't it natural for things to change up quickly this early on? I guess so, but that's not what the internet will think. But that's not my problem. Well, I'm happy you've got at least one girl you're really interested in. But I hope you've got chemistry with both. Tomorrow you'll be going on a date with your other soulmate candidate instead. Let's milk this love triangle for all it's worth. Sounds good to you? I'm noticing a pattern in making it sound like I have a choice when I really don't. None of us really have a choice nowadays, I'm afraid. All right, I gotta get back to editing today's footage. You, you ready to head back to the mansion? Sounds good to me. We walked back in comfortable silence. My nose is so itchy, I'm sorry. Night, see you later, cat. If we get caught trying to escape, there's no telling what would happen to us. It's a chance we have to take. I know, but we need to know what we're up against. We know the island better than anyone by now, Matthias. We'll be fine. I'm not sure. Damon's brought... Oh, so we know Damien. Damon's brought in that scientist for his latest experiment. All I've heard is that she's the one who built the prototype. The one Damien used to turn six into a vegetable. Oh. There was a six brother. Not to mention the old test audiences, too. Shit. I think they must have killed at least 100 people by now. And they still haven't perfected it. If we get caught... 
I get what you're trying to say. Are you still with me on this? It's not too late. You didn't even have to ask. Of course I'm with you. Who? Who are you? Somehow, I know you're close by. But every time I try to see your face, the dream ends. Ah. I walked down to the kitchen where the girls were having breakfast. So how's the date? Yeah, tell us. Tara was furiously scribbling down notes with the title War Plans in bold. It was really quite nice. We actually made this cake and cookies yesterday together, Matthias and I. I, I hope you all enjoy it. They're amazing, Violet. Thanks for making it for us. Thanks so much. They're so delicious. Tara scribbled, War of Our Trition is likely not an option. What are you writing there, Tara? Nothing. So, how come there's cookie batter everywhere? No matter where I look, I can see batter on every surface of the kitchen. It wasn't just the batter, Violet and I had knocked over quite a few things in our firefight. Uh, that's... You sure it was just baking together? Oh, I thought it was more than that. I charaded as if I was heartbroken. I gotta hand it to you, Violet. I didn't think you had it in you. Hubba hubba. Wait, no, nothing like that happened. Allie and I laughed and made finger guns at each other. I don't get it. <laughs> That's because you're not a good person. You're a good person, you. Whoops. <clears throat> I think that what Allie's trying to say is that Violet and Matthias. Allie stuffed a cookie into Scarlet's mouth before she could finish her sentence. Mm -hmm. Oof. Wow, those cookie, these cookies are pretty useful. You gotta teach me how to make these sometime, Violet. It would be my pleasure, Allie. Ooh, teach me too. Why Why should Matthias have all the weird stuff? Uh, we spent the rest of the morning fooling around in the kitchen. Ugh, my head. You okay? You don't look so good. Not so loud. My head's killing me after I had a ton of wine last night. Still, I had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the woman who decides whether I get to live or die every night. And she was very, very drunk when she did that. Just that. Thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Clearly, you're still alive, Matthias, so it's all good. Believe me, you'd drink too if you worked here. Just look at the five, at the Brothers Five. Working at the Futuristic Evil Corp has, has to come with some benefits, right? You'd think, but we still have to pay for dental out of our pocket. <clears throat> Before I forget what the show's all about, today's the day you go on a date with. Who is your other soulmate candidate again? Allie. How much did you drink last night, Cat? Mm, whatever, I knew that. Just testing, duh. Right. Oh shit, I was hiding the wall. Okay. Alright, let's get the second date with Allie started. Woo! Whoa, someone told the world to stop spinning like a little bitch. I'm pretty much right. Ooh. Howdy, Matthias. You ready for round two? I figured you might want to hang out somewhere where rollerblades don't work. Aw, I spent all night dreaming of the next chance I could use those two little death machines. Then I think you'll love what we've got in store today. There's no wheels where we're going. Surfboard surfing? What do you mean? You'll see. Follow me. Ah, first, I'm gonna need you to close your eyes. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Nothing to worry about, Matthias. I'll be right next to you the whole time. Because that's always gone well. Hasn't it? Allie moved behind me and covered my eyes with her hands. Now, let's just keep walking forward. Trust me. Right. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't somewhat enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when she wrapped her arms around me. I cautiously took a step f after step forward. First I felt dirt and sand, then water. Are you trying to make me drown myself? Of course not. Though I have to admit, this does look a lot like some how they killed people back in the day. Ah, you're gonna you're gonna want to take a really high step forward next, or it's gonna hurt. I raised my right leg as high as I could and step forward. Something's changed like metal. Oh god, is it like a Frickin' boat. Next, I brought over my left leg. Keep your eyes closed just for just a second longer. 
I gotta, I just gotta do one thing. Why is my nose so itchy? Allie let go of me and took a few steps forward. Brace yourself. Wait, what? I was knocked off my feet and sudden movement opened my eyes on reflex. Ooh, look at that CG. Water sprayed onto my body as I struggled to regain my balance. All aboard the SS St. Alley. When and where did you get a boat? Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. You just found it? Anyway, I asked Kat if I could take it for a spin. She said that as long as we stay within a few clicks of the island, we're good. Or the ends will automatically shut off. So I thought, why not have a little joyride around the island? What can go wrong? There's no fun in thinking that, is there? So why bother? Why indeed, though the person stuck on a life or death dating show. We cruised around the island for a while, taking note of the different buildings covering the island. The mansion seemed so small from way out here. Our two bodies we cruised around. Allie took a deep breath and sighed. Okay, Allie, you don't seem as chipper as usual. I guess I'm a little homesick. It's nothing to do with you, I promise. I just... I'm just worried about my old man. I'm sorry, it wasn't your father... Ah, yeah, he's long gone. You know the old story about New Asia. I'm talking about Lucas. He was a good friend of my dad's, and he's taking care of me and my whole... and a whole other kids. Sounds like a cool dude. You sure have way with words, don't you, Matthias? I don't dwell much on the past. It just slows down. I couldn't agree more. Is that the amnesia talking? Who knows? She laughed as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. I'm more worried that he'll get himself in trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. That, what's he like? Let's just say that's all. That a lot how I act is from him, but I'm much more restrained. If you're like this, I guess I wouldn't survive even a single day hanging out with him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing at all. Allie made a sharp turn. The sudden force almost threw me out of the boat. Hey, what was that for? Oh, nothing at all. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had a devilish grin. I'm sure he's doing just fine, Allie. He's probably watching right now, just to make sure you're safe. You're probably right, now that I think about it. He always wastes the day watching shitty reality TV shows, which gives me an idea. Mm, what's that? With one hand on the wheel, Allie turned to me and kissed me on the lips. Whoa! Making moves? I kissed her back, and it felt like lightning was running through my veins. The boat started to rock back and forth and more uncontrollably, but we didn't stop. Bats got to give Lucas a heart attack. Seriously, what kind of father lets their daughter go on a trashy show like this? I couldn't help but laugh. Eh, whatever. It's been a fun ride so far. And here's to the next one with you, Matthias. She kissed me again, sending the boat into an erratic frenzy. We spent the rest of the day together cruising around the, on the boat until we ran out of, of daylight. Dang, that escalated. I didn't expect that. I was feeling too restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went to, for a walk downstairs. Dude, I'm gonna cut my nose off. <clears throat> I started to walk to the kitchen and open the fridge. It turns out there was some leftover cookies that Violet and I had made together. I grabbed a few and wolfed them down. Delicious. Got a case of midnight munchies. I figured I'd do my civil duty and help finish the cookies violent I made. Right. Only a good Samaritan would finish all the cookies so no one else would have to make that sacrifice. I'm just too good of a person. I know. Gets me in trouble sometimes. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk to you. What's up? How'd your date with Allie go today? Awesome. It was pretty great. There's never a dull moment with Allie. I'm just scratching the surface, but I like what I see, and I really want to get to know her more. Interesting, interesting. That's good. Allie's pretty out there as far as people go. I can see why she'd have a hard time opening up. But from what I saw today, I'm sure if anyone can, it'd be you. People thought she didn't have much of a chance here, but I guess you two are proving them wrong. Anyway, you're probably safe for at least another day, thanks to the ongoing rivalry between Allie and Violet. The stakes are rising, and so are our precious ratings, so without further ado, it's time for Phase 3. You've only got one date left with each of them before the final day, so make them count. You're not out of the woods just yet. Will do. Alright, good. 
Well, I need to get back to preparing for tomorrow's show. And you better rest up for tomorrow. You only got you only get one first third date with a girl, right? Sounds good to me, cat. See you later, Matthias. Good night, cat. And thanks for the help. I realized I'd probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I walked back to my room and popped on my bed. Time to get some shit eye. Alright, we're out of the mansion. Next stop, the beach. I told you the staff wouldn't suspect a thing. That's because nobody's being s been stupid enough to try to escape till now. Maybe people should have been a little more stupid a little sooner. Easier said than done. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along. We'll go through the forest. Come on. We ran through the forest as if the devil were chasing us. The truth was not far from it. Okay. I can see the pier now and the boat. We're this close to getting out of here. She always put on her bravest face when she was afraid. We're going to make it, right? Of course. The boat's just a little further, and no one's on our trail. Our tail. I can't believe it. We're finally going, getting out of here. We're finally... We're finally going to leave with eyes. About time, if you ask me. I've dreamt of this moment every day since... Who knows how long we've been trapped here by now. But I never thought I could escape till I got to know you. <laughs> You're giving me too much credit. It was your idea. Find any other sane person, they would have told you the same things. Sane people didn't try to escape with me. I wouldn't have stayed sane if it weren't for you, though. She laughed. That was my favorite sound. Let's get back to matters at hand. We both know that this is where the rubber meets the road. I wonder if this is Cat. Now it's just a mad dash to the finish. You ready to run? No. I'm kidding. Let's go. That favorite sound of mine once more. I hope it's not the last time I hear it. Didn't scare me that time. I was ready. A beach scene? Seriously? Not only gratuitous, but oh so predictable. Oh come on, it's the beach. Don't be so negative. I guess you're right. It's not every day you get to the, go to the beach. You're right, Tara? You've, you've looked better. Tara was practically crawling on the beach sand like a zombie with one arm. Sunlight, my worst enemy. We meet again, you piece of shit. There's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. No hesitation. I swear, I've never seen Terra move so fast. Let's go in the water, come on. Scarlet grabbed Violet by her hand and pulled her towards the water. Uh, but I didn't bring anything to change. Now that's the spirit. Wait up, you guys. And just like that, they're off. You up to join them? I'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Valley pulled me in with her arms and kissed me passionately. Wow. Okay. It's hotter when the other girls are around, you think they saw? I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. <laughs> the look on your face is priceless. My god. Try to keep up. Allie ran to join the other girls in the water. I smiled and followed suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm weather on the beach. There's always a beach episode, guys. Morning with ice. Time sure flies, huh? The show's almost over and you'll be able to go back to your regular life soon. No idea if that's what's going to have any less headaches, though. Who knows? As strange as it sounds, I've had some fun here. The whole getting murdered thing isn't great, but it hasn't been all bad. I didn't mention that other people would kill to be in your position. On second thought, they definitely haven't thought it through enough. Probably not. Well, back to business. It's time to pick who you'll be going your first third date with. First third. So confusing. Who's the unlucky soulmate today? Uh, let's go back to Violet. You didn't let me down, Matthias. <laughs> I had my doubts with Violet at first, but now I can see why she's the audience's favorite. Don't mess it up. Wouldn't dream of it. Back in the kitchen. Found Violet in the same place I met her. She was taking out a fresh batch of cookies from the oven. Morning, Violet. I slid next to her and grabbed one of the cookies in, in one smooth motion. Ow, hot. I flung the cookie into my mouth anyway. Worth the pain. Damn, that was delicious. Wait a moment, you silly goose. You never fail to make me laugh, Matthias. I quite admire that. I did a mocking bow with my arms behind my back and put on my best fancy accent. Mmm, the pleasure's all mine, milady. Stop, you. I wolfed down another cookie. Hell yeah. You do know those are for sharing with everyone, right? 
I'm part of everyone. What's the problem here? We laughed together a bit. We we laughed together at the bit we were performing. Ah, that reminds me of Matthias. What's up with Violet? It's come to my attention that this show will be ending quite soon. Yeah, it is. Oh, do cheer up, please. I don't intend to feel sorry for myself. Instead, I want to use the time we have left to do something I've always longed to do. And what's that? What I want is to go on a date. The kind of norm that normal people go on. The kind that I've only read about. Having a picnic, watching a movie at a theater, long walks on the beach, even something crazy like a paint night. And then we could watch the sunset go down together, and it'd be so romantic. Her enthusiasm was adorable. She was practically bouncing around the room like a ping pong ball. I think we can make that happen. Can we now? Which one? Why not all of them? She got the most beautiful smile. Damn. Really? You've got to be kidding me. You can count on me, Violet. I'll make it happen. Yay! She did a little cheer and dance. Gosh, I can't stop smiling looking at her. That said, I have no idea what to do. Guess this will be touch and go. It wouldn't be fair if you figured out everything. Let me handle the picnic. She pulled out her a basket from behind her. Care to join me in the lovely outdoors? I wouldn't miss it for the world, Violet. Do a little charcuterie board, you know? Ooh, look at that. I, I don't really know what I'm looking at besides the sausages and the sandwich and, uh... Is that, like, peanut butter and, like, something? can't picture what that is. It looks like a dessert, like a cinnamon roll. Maybe that's what that is. Hmm. We walked outside for a while and settled on a lovely spot with a nice mix of shade and sunlight for a picnic. The way her silver hair caught the sunlight, it was enough to make you believe in angels. It was, she was so beautiful. And again, I've brought plenty. Please don't hold yourself back. I've got to be the luckiest person alive. Say that talk after you try this. I'm letting you have the first bite. Should I be worried? Yeah. I smiled as she mock pouted. Just kidding. She laughed and smiled as she spoon fed me a delicious egg roll. That's an egg roll? Called it. I'm the luckiest person alive. Not just because the food's delicious, but because you're here next to me, Lila. You've made this week so special. I feel the same way, Matthias. And there's more where that came from. You're absolutely right. I've got something prepared for just the two of us next. You owe me one, Matthias. We enjoyed the delicious food and conversation over the rest of the afternoon. Thanks, Cat. Perfect wingman. We walked back to the mansion hand in hand, smiling all the while. Next stop, the movie theater on the island. I didn't know we had a room like this in the mansion. Is Tara hiding somewhere here? I'm not surprised. Tara, Tara's pretty territorial about this room from wh what I've seen and heard. But right now, it's our own private movie theater. I did a little jazz at the TV. If you look closely, you can see Tara out the window. Violet clapped as if she had to put on a performance of a lifetime. I made a dramatic bow and then took it. Then took a look at what movies we had in store. Let's see. We have rom-coms, fantasy medieval movies, war movies. A few superhero movies, and last but not least, a horror movie. I'll pull up. I'll pull. I'll put on a rom com from what Violet was saying earlier. This would definitely be her favorite. I started the movie, then went back and sat next to Violet with my arms around her. The story was about a girl who moved to a place called New York to become a writer. Falls in love with the boy she meets there, and eventually realizes her dream and her love. It wasn't anything special, but Violet was thoroughly entranced through the whole movie. Me, I was more entranced by her. After the credits rolled, Violet's practically burst into tears. This was the best movie I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life. Then how about we take a scene you liked from the movie and turn it into a painting? Oh my gosh, you didn't. Just wait right here for a second. Okay. I had no idea where to find art supplies, but I knew if there was anyone who could, it was Cat. Cat? I think you know the sitch. You got some nerve putting this together at last minute, but I like that about you. Four, set up everything that you need for a paint night in the main hall of the mansion. Stat. Aw oh, man, I just finished my shift. Even better, you've got free time for this. And so we started painting our canvases in the main hall. I think I'll paint a picture of... Hmm. Should we be sweet or go with it? We're gonna be sweet. Violet and I watching the movie together. This counts, right? 
What are you painting, Matthias? I'm painting a picture of us watching the movie together. It's the most beautiful scene from the movie, you know? It'd be a shame not to capture it. You are quite the flirt, you know that? But I like that about you. Her smile can melt the coldest heart. So what scene are you painting, Violet? I'm drawing the scene where the girl runs out of the rain to tell the boy that she loves her. It was just... <laughs> romantic. She sighed like a love-struck teenager. I could tell she was putting her whole heart into the, her painting. She captured the scene perfectly. As for me, let's just say I was more focused on making the people have the right number of heads and was working from there. Okay. An hour or so later, we finished and compared our final artworks. She's an incredibly talented artist. Me, not so much. That was embarrassing, but man, it was worth it just to see her smile and break into laughter. Her laughter was interrupted by a gurgle from her stomach. Mother would punish me for sure if she heard me make that sound, but who cares now? Violet was unstoppable at this point. Is it time for dinner? I do believe it is. I volunteered to cook, but she wanted to go back to the restaurant that we went on our first date, so we did. Apparently she was trying too hard to prim and proper back then, and didn't actually get to eat as much as she wanted. She ate up a storm, almost literally, almost. We spent dinner wolfing down delicious food without a care in the world, and laughing about scenes in the movies and our little artsy adventure. Then finally, we went for a long-awaited walk on the beach. We held hands as we walked along the ocean. The waves of the ocean seemed to play music for us as we skirted by. At times, we talked without end. At the other times, we enjoyed each other's company and warmth in silence. Either way, we were happy as can be. We talked about how the about talked about the how the past, the present, and the future were so different from than before because of each other. You know, Matthias, if you asked me to marry you right right now, without a doubt, I'd accept. I know it sounds quite crazy to say that in such a short period of time, but I just know. She kissed me passionately with everything she had, and what came next was the perfect ending to our lovely date. Come closer. Oh, I thought it was a jump scare. After today's, after today's date with Violet, I decided to take a stroll around the mansion. I thought we invited her to our crib. <sighs> the night was clear as could be. A light breeze made it just a bit chilly, but not enough that it'd be more to put on be enough to put on more i found myself fixating on the moon without thinking i thought i'd find you here why is that just the gut feeling and the island wise surveillance system <laughs> you doing okay yeah i'm just thinking i can't believe the show's almost over it didn't feel really earlier today time sure flies doesn't it you've only got the last third date with Allie tomorrow then the final ceremony on the day after speaking of which how was your date with violet today awesome being with Violet makes me feel like we're on top of the world. Somehow she takes my breath away with how cool she can be. And at the same time, it makes me laugh like a child alongside her. I'd have no idea that I'd fall for her so hard after our first meeting, but I couldn't help myself. And now, what I want the most is to make her the happiest woman in the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I had my doubts at first, but you two really stole the show. And with a good reason. I feel like our viewers got to see a glimpse of what your lives together would be like. Maybe the mess in the kitchen won't be from the dough next time, hmm? Oh, no comment. <laughs> Who knew that three dates were all you needed to figure out if a marriage would last? If this TV gig doesn't work out, maybe I should become a marriage counselor. Hmm? Anyway, I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got some work to do. Work done tonight to prep for the ending of the show. You know what? I could use some company, and it's not like you weren't up to anything. Kat reached her hand out to me. I put my hand in hers on instinct. With her hand on mine, she pulled me with her to the library. Now you're probably wondering, why did I bring you here of all places? You like to read? Well, yes, but no. There's no internet for us goons, so here's where we store most of our information. Records of every single run of the show, building and security details, guard schedules, and most importantly, salary records. It's hidden in plain sight as regular books. You need to know how to decipher them though. They're pretty useless to the average person. Interesting. And also a little unnecessary. Who here is going to read a book? Oh, I know the state of education was bad, but not this bad. It still doesn't answer why you brought me here. Well, you see, I have this lovely chair and table here, so here that I do so love to work on. And it's truly, truly exhausting for me to get up in this lovely arrangement to have to fetch each book I need to reference. So you want me to grab books for you. 
so you can just stay here. I'm so glad you understand. And you know, I'm doing everything I can to keep you alive, and it's just a, a teeny tiny favor. I couldn't help but laugh at her mock pout. Stray cat, it's the least I can do. Great, all right, to start, I need you to grab me the Princess Avaranda. 100 easy recipes for a philosopher's stone. And, I forgot everything. This must be the hundredth batch of books I had to deliver. It's been hours. Seriously, who, whoever designs the system should be shot. I tried to read a few books I was delivering, but like Kat said, they seemed like regular books. That's just, and that's a wrap. Thanks for the help, Matthias. I'll send you a thank you card for when you're off this island or something. At this rate, that was pretty much slave labor. I like to think of it more of as an unpaid charity work. You've got one last day tomorrow. Don't mess it up. I'm curious, what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? Honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe try to figure out what my life was before. Who knows? That's a, as good a start as any. Well, I gotta get back to editing. Night, Matthias. See you, cat. I guess I'll go back to my room and call it a night. Oh my god, I'm gonna still itchy. Uh. The alarms were deafening. We planned for every possibility we could, but it wasn't enough. We made it to the ship, but it still wasn't enough. For one saving grace, the ship wouldn't start. Someone tampered with it, and there's no time to fix it. That's... That's it, then. I couldn't find the words to say. I love you. I love you too, Matthias. I wish we could have met anywhere but here. She held me in her arms with the last of her strength. All that's left to do is wait. Goodbye, love. The Courting Call. Waking up next to Violet felt like waking up next to an angel. We had walked back from the beach past night, past midnight last night, so any rest we could get was very welcome. For several minutes, all I could do was watch her silver hair catch the sunlight. So, she... Did, wait, did we... Did we... Do the thing?